This tutorial covers how to edit basic site information, like the site name, email, and time zone. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to change basic site information, such as the site name, the slogan, and the default time zone. Before you get started with this tutorial, you'll want to make sure you're familiar with accessing and navigating Drupal's administrative interface. In the Manage Administrative menu, click on Configuration. And then under System, click on Basic Site Settings. This takes you to the page where you can change the site name, slogan, administrative email address, or the default front page path. Fill in the available fields as appropriate for your site. The site name is used to identify the site and generally displayed in the header and the browser's title bar. The slogan is usually displayed site-wide in the header. The email address here is used as the from address in automated email messages, for example, registrations or password resets. After editing the fields, you can click Save Configuration to see the changes applied to the site. In order to confirm that this worked, I can navigate back to the home page and see that indeed it has updated the site name and slogan. As another example, let's change the default regional settings. In the Manage Administrative menu, click on Configuration. Then, under Regional and Language, click on the Regional Settings. From here, you can select the appropriate country from the default country select list in the locale section and set which day will be displayed as the first day of the week on your site. In the Time Zones section, select the site-wide default time zone from the list and configure user-specific time zones. The core software will do its best to guess this particular information when it is first installed, but you can change it at any time. After editing the fields, click Save Configuration to see the changes applied to the site. In this tutorial, we looked at editing basic site configuration. We navigated to the Site Information Settings form and updated a couple of settings, and then we navigated to the Regional Settings form and updated some additional global settings.